taken by this feeling baby we're invincible hi guys and welcome back to another episode of rebuilding notts county as always if you enjoy the save drop a like on the video we are in a mentally tight situation. This is such a tight situation. We're going to be jumping straight into things today because obviously I'm going to be doing like a recap of other leagues at the end of this as well. And there's a potential for the FA Cup final to go to penalties. So we don't want this to stretch out for too long. But for those of you that might have missed the last episode, for whatever reason, this is the situation. So we're at home to Spurs today. A draw would be enough for us to finish above Spurs and get, in theory, fourth place. However, if Manchester United beat West Ham by four goals, then they would finish above both of us in this situation. Um, also, in other news, at the top, Chelsea could still win the Premier League if they beat Norwich and Manchester City fail to win at West Brom. So there's a lot of stuff on the line here uh, as things go. Watford also potentially could miss out in the end, which is a bit of a shame. I feel like they probably deserve it uh, as things go. Also, Bournemouth could potentially go down today as well, which would mean that they're midfielder that I've been looking at, Gola, uh, could be potentially, not you, Yola? I can't remember his name is, could be up for grabs as well. So there's a lot on the line here. And we've got a good record against Spurs, really, compared to other teams. So I think there's a good chance for us today, but no doubt, uh, no Alberto and no Jesperson. So that could be a problem because Keskin's going to have to start as is Perrier. That's the situation. Let's go. As the home side, of course, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. This has really served us pretty well recently. Okay, the Norwich result is, that he, uh, is an anomaly on that one. Fine. But I still think we played well. And against City, again, we did that at, at City away from home. So I'm really tempted to just carry on what we're doing uh, for now. But the bench, I'm going to put Lancaster on it. Because these were all players I was missing when I really needed them. So the bench, Lancaster, Dybali, Silla, Santana, Sivertsen, Hubanov, and of course, Issa and Pepe. We're going to need a new striker in the summer to back up Guerra. Hopefully he'll stay. Because and Pepe won't sign a contract and he's going to be leaving. Which is a shame. Um, but I don't think I can rely. I know some of you guys, like, want to see Troffin, but I just, he's not good enough, unfortunately. If he was good enough, he would have put goals in when he was given the chance before, and he just doesn't have it, unfortunately. But he will be sticking around the club. Okay, so Spurs are employing Ihatron as a playmaker, but I still don't want to mark him because it just doesn't work. Marking players in the middle seems to work fine, but strikers and wide players, it just doesn't work because for whatever reason, yeah, <laughs> well, we've seen it doesn't work. This is massive, uh, and we've still got the FA Cup final to come. I'm going to go with the We Owe Tottenham one because when you've not set the season expectation on qualifying for the Champions League, you cannot get away with telling them to get to win the game. Right then, let's go. Spurs, 4-4-2 for Spurs. We've done okay against... I mean, to be fair, we have lost 4-1 to Spurs this season. I think it's our biggest ever defeat to them. But I feel like today we might have a better chance. The home game will definitely help. But we'll see. It may not help Morat. And literally within a few seconds they've scored and we trail at home to Tottenham. Ah, we really have a... Ha like, we unbeaten in 14. And then we just can't seem to hold our nerve. Suarez maybe could do better. Good God. I don't think we could have asked for a worse start to this match than to concede to Spurs early on. And as things stand, we'd actually go somehow end up finishing sixth after all of this. After all is said and done, we would actually be sixth. Ass man! Saved by Nubel. Okay, that's a bit more like it. Getting us back into the match a little bit now. We have to get the draw here. I still don't think United are going to go and score four against West Ham, though. Takes his man on. That's better from Darren Lever. It's more like what I want to see from him. Uh, that was less like what I want to see from him. Oh, really? We're going back from free kicks now? Jean Carlos. That extra man. Oh, below the top for Guerra. He's through. He's got to finish. Yes! Jose Lelson Guerra. Notts County 1. Tottenham 1. Pushes us back into fourth place. Right. Um, actually, I think we've deserved that. We've actually done quite well to recover here. Suarez with a lovely ball, just drops it down for Dubois, and who else but to dump one over the top. He gets it out of his feet and is actually able to slide that one home. His finishing has improved dramatically towards the end of the year. 28 goals this season. Fair play. It could do with him being a bit better recently, but maybe, hang on, I'm going to insult him. Tomane Thomas Stepanek, you suck at football and you're bad in bed. Let's see if that helps. Dubois. Don't know how I would know that second one, but we'll leave that one for the imagine. Oh, no. Omeladis through. We need Suarez to step up, and he has. Massive chance there for Spurs. Um, yeah, that's the problem with the 4-4-2. Sometimes, if they win the ball off us in the right position, they could have could find us in some trouble. Cleared away. Stepanek will pick this up, though. Come on, Thomas. Show me what you can do, buddy. He doesn't look particularly... Oh, my God. He's got to pick out the back post. He has to. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, oh wow. That's dreadful from both us and Spurs at the same time. We both managed to give up mistakes in the same move. Lever. I'm actually wondering if going down the wings is actually a better approach. I think we tried it against Newcastle earlier this season and it worked dramatically well. What are you doing? That is just... I felt like if we could, if we get in front, I feel like that would probably be enough. Not to win so much, but perhaps just to not lose. Stepanek is all the way through. Thomas Stepanek and another chance there goes begging. He really should have done better there. Suarez has got options though. Celso has provided loads of space. Giancarlos, get that ball out wide. 
Lever will do. Oh, what are you doing? Marat. Dooku. Oh, no. Great save again. But just do the simple thing. I don't understand. Get the ball. Put it out wide. There's players there. That's the instruction. Do what you're told. Whoa. So as things stand, with Man United a goal up against West Ham, we would currently qualify for the Champions League on goal difference, thanks to the, to the Guerra goal. I think we've probably just about been the better side, but they have had two shots, two really good chances. And so maybe we have... And maybe we're a bit fortunate to still be level in this match. Got away with it a little bit. But hello, Darren Lever out of nowhere. And he has got pace. And again, the defender just gets drawn to the other guy. And Lever's all the way through. What a chance that was for Darren Lever. He could have possibly put us in front. Lever, possible. Oh, it's 2-0 Man United. Okay, things are getting very, very interesting now. And Gibbons cleared away by Suarez. A long range strike there. That really counts as a half chance. 2-0 to United. Out wide for Duarte. God, for a wide defence, they sure like to not be wide. And Marat there in for Spurs as well. Hold on to it. And Asman, big tackle. Huge tackle, Dubois, with a bit of room now, perhaps. Absolutely god-awful pass from him for once. Fernandez, get that ball across. Stefanex in. And it's a good save by Nubel again. I'm doing it. I'm replacing both the wide players. It's the second time in a row in a match that we've made a double substitution and then got an injury immediately afterwards. Right, well, this time I actually can bring on Mad Sivertson, but I've been forced into three subs again. Oh dear, how's the other game going? It's still 2-0 to Manchester United as things stand. Five minutes to go. I might go on time wasting after this. Oh no, 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 no. What a block after this attack. <sighs> Just to see this out. For the final four minutes of our season, we're on cautious, time wasting, see what we can do. Guerra, and it's saved by Nubel. Man United still 2-0 up. We are two minutes away from the Champions League on goal difference here. And for some reason, Spurs have actually let us get back. Oh god. Uh, and yet still, they've actually found a really good ball for Cavell. The defence is completely unorganised, somehow. Celso clatters one away for a corner. It's the best we're going to get right about now. And West Brom have equalised against Chelsea. Uh, sorry, Chelsea are going to win the Premier League. Win that. Keskin, just drop it inside. Ten seconds to go. Unless there are two Manchester United goals now, we're going to be in the Champions League next season. Lancaster. Oh, what are you doing? Come on. Clattered into the channel. This game should be over. We are, there's no injuries. Yes! Notts County won, Spurs won, Guerra's goal gives us Champions League football next season. <sighs> we kind of went close there with only no, no wins in our last four matches just to really make it difficult for ourselves after a really good run. But we've done it in the end. Guerra man of the match. What a lad. Come on. So that is how the season finishes. Manchester City throw away the title and Chelsea are champions after a 3-0 trashing of Norwich. And West Brom, despite that point, actually go down in the end because Bournemouth were able to go and get a victory against Aston Villa. Forrest, of course, could minus 70 goal difference. That is embarrassingly bad. Like, really, really bad. Um, still, they got more points than Burnley and Brentford, I think, when they were in the top flight. So there you go. We survive and our goal difference is one better than United's. But it wouldn't have mattered because had they got one more goal, we'd have still have scored more. So we qualify for the Champions League with 72 points and on goal difference oh shit the bed just quickly um here's how things are top score at gera 25 league goals and 14 assists uh, he's gonna he's not gonna win player of the season because uh Chowry will despite not being on either of these stats amazingly but they got 13 man of the match wars and he's not gonna win player of the season um but he might do you never know but i think it's unlikely the burnley brentford is the champions playoff final uh, Wolves and Leeds come back up. No surprises that Wolves come up. They're after our goalkeeper for some reason. Like, why would he go to Wolves? Mansfield are relegated. At one point, they were looking a lot worse, to be fair. At one point, they had like two wins after like 35 matches. So they've got better. Luton Town and Mill will go down. And Swansea nearly go with them. In League One, Portsmouth versus Hull is the playoff final. Up come Barnsley and Coventry. Down go Rochdale, Blackpool, Forest Green and Shrewsbury. Uh, Scunthorpe, unfortunately, unable to bounce straight back into the championship. What about League Two? Gillingham versus Salford is the final. Up come Bristol Rovers, Doncaster and Plymouth. Down go Wickham and the MK Dons relegated from the Football League to the National League. Stockport County are into the Football League again after beating Boreham Wood in the final. As come Geisley are into the Football League as well as champions, which is pretty impressive. Accrington Stanley relegated from, oh my god, Stanley relegated from the fifth tier uh, after losing their last five matches. Solihull, Nunny and, and Haven't and Waterloo will go down with them. That's the biggest surprise there, really, for me, is Accrington Stanley dropping out of the fifth tier. Massive. Right. It's the FA Cup final now. Nice and easy, eh? Ball set initial budgets. £48 million and a £1.6 million transfer fit. So let's just see. Um, oh, yeah, this is a guy I'm looking at potentially signing. I'll talk to you more about him in the transfer episode. We've got some money to spend. I want manager of the year. Holy crap. Okay, so... FA Cup final day, the final match of the season. We've already done what we needed to do. We got in the Champions League. I say needed to do, wanted to do. So this would just be a massive bonus if we were to win it. But we're going to be missing some key players. But it appears that so are Arsenal, with somehow 
Aya and David Brooks being cup tied. That's the most Arsenal thing I've seen in ages. So, selection advice. I think Jesperson should be back. Okay, we're not starting Shitty you at left back. We'll definitely be starting uh, Keshkin. Um, Lever, do, I think I'd rather start Sivertson. Where is he? Why is he not available either? My giddy aunt. Senya's also injured. Hmm. Yeah, it might well have to be Remedy Bois stepping further up. This is what I mean. We are lacking. So the bench is going to be Chitiu, Perrier, Santana, and Pepo, Dubali, Hubanov, and Nielsen. But I'm concerned about the idea of Dubois playing up there. Let us go. See if we can win ourselves a second FA Cup in this save. That would be quite something. I'm not quite um like analysing it to the same amount that I did perhaps in that Chelsea one. Um, I feel like we've got a bit more strength in us now to maybe just try and play our natural game rather than having to adjust to Arsenal. Particularly as they haven't been as good this year as you might have thought. I think they ended up finishing 6th or 7th in the Premier League this year. So in theory, we should actually be the favourites for that. But that's not how this works. Mandragora. Chill. Back and stuff for Brandt. Easy near post. Nothing shot. This is good. A really dull game so far. Guerra's ball. And Celso hits the post. It's ricocheting around and it's come to the goalkeeper in the end. Still no shot on target. Yeah, it's a very, very low quality match so far. Um, but that might suit us in a way. We've had a couple of chances. So have they. Um, well, they've had a chance. I think it'd be a nice little crowning achievement on last season. Qualify for the Champions League. And also, winning the FA Cup again would be a really nice little uh, way to finish off our season outside of Europe. Step next ball. Lever! And it's come back to him and it's tipped over by Sanchez. And I think we're starting to get a little bit of a foothold on this game now. Really nice cross. God, Darren Lever, I think he's got one this year and it was the winner against United. If he came up with a winner in an FA Cup final, that would be really something for the lad. Even with a few players missing, we still like we can do this. Dubois, he's still a creative force further up the pitch. Still is going to go for the long shot, I'd feel. No, Keskin might. Keskin might. And he's gone for the strike again. Oh, Guerra with a free kick. Ben's one. Yes, Besson. And he's got to put it back for Guerra. Please. Guerra again. And it's punched away by the goalkeeper. And my goodness. Well, a half time. I think we have done a really good job on the night so far. Dominating the match in terms of chances and shots. Which is exactly what we want. This is what we did against uh, Liverpool. And I think sometimes we try to overplay the ball when we try to work it too much. And I think that's really having the odd little pot shot now and then. Just allows us to shake things up a little bit. A second half of the same quality as the first. And I think we can come out with, with a trophy. Oh. oh, Suarez got a touch on that. Well played. I don't know if I've ever actually won the FA Cup twice on one of these saves before we've ever actually won a league title. Uh, not only that, but before we've even looked close to winning a league title. Are you shitting me? Kevin Nygaard puts Arsenal in front. I'd have to say that feels against the run of play. Um, Jesus, guys. We just don't clear our lines from the free kit, uh, from the corner. It's cleared away by Silla. Comes back for Nygaard and just gets it through a crowd of bodies. Keepers unsighted. We're just sort of finishing off on a bit of a whimper this season. Oh, it's gone for Guerra. Lay Oh. Could still keep going, though. Keskin. Oh, and a good save again. That's a bit of a long shot, that one. We've had a few more long shots in this second half. Arsenal seem to have uh, sat a bit deeper, I think, and it's allowed us to pick away at some shots. I might turn off the uh, shoot from range now. Hmm. Yeah, it's another one of those games where we, we do really well in the first half and then just sort of go off the boil for some reason. Um, just haven't quite been at the races in the second period. Santana. Back for Silla. And it's gone for the goal of Garris. Oh, it's offside. Oh, I thought that was the moment that he does it again. Ball whipped across. Cleared away, and Stepanek can have a little run with this here. And he's actually found Santana. We've got a bit of an overload here. I'm concerned they're just going to shoot from a stupid angle. Santana! Oh, and he just about tucks that inside. I was hoping he could maybe get fouled or win a penalty or get the shot away, but he couldn't. But that's just how it goes sometimes. Ruben, chill well. We're pushing everything forward to try and grab a late winner, and surely... Oh, that was surely offside. No, it wasn't offside. Okay. Suarez. Guys, you're going to have to get the ball up the pitch at some point soon. Hubanov. I feel like we've missed out on what he could have done for us this year. Stefanex, he's just blazed past the defender. And Chilwell's fouled him. And that's probably going to be a red. It is. Okay, Arsenal down to 10 for the last three minutes. Well, uh, we benefited in no way from that, it would seem. Headed away. And Anthony will clear it for Arsenal. Oh, that's going to do it. Arsenal won. Notts County nil in the FA Cup final. We didn't take our chances in the first half. And in the second half, we just didn't really have anything to offer. Um, but that's what you get. We really have finished the season on a bit of a whimper again. Um, thankfully, the whimper this time was enough to actually see us in. But we have these such wild swings in form, man. Um, I still think we were a bit unfortunate in places. Perhaps could have done a bit better in certain areas. But Arsenal got the win. That's all that matters. As you'll see, we won none of our last... Four. We, we went unbeaten in 14 matches. And then we couldn't win any of our last five. Um... But, ah, to be fair, that's still only one league defeat in God knows how long. Because there was three draws there as well. Um, just kind of went off the ball towards the end. But there were some tough games. Admittedly, the Norwich one was just piss poor. But games against City, 
Like, we'd have taken draws against Liverpool, City, and Spurs. But with the Norwich game in the middle, oh, if we hadn't lost that, that would have actually looked a lot better, to be fair. So it's all about perspective. Anyway, I think we've had a reasonably good reasonably good, a good a season. We qualified for the Champions League, which is what we wanted. Got to an FA Cup final and a Carabao Cup semi-final. We really did do a good job in the trophies this season. Going quite far. And we could have maybe gone even further in the Carabao Cup too. So I think there's definitely a lot of progress being made this year. Uh, analysis video coming up later tonight. I think Santana and that left-hand side could be an area to look into a player for. I think Lever is the one that's dominating the role now and he's what I want to start with next season unless I can find someone amazing in that position because I think Stefanek's still doing a fine old job on the right but mm, I don't know I feel like the midfield is looking great attacking midfield is looking phenomenal striker great I think in the fullback positions and the centre backs we're looking great goalkeeper's excellent I know he makes some mistakes but we're not going to get a better keeper than him I think it's our wide positions that might be the one area that we really need to look to strengthen in the summer so if you've enjoyed this season I hope you have uh, we qualify for the Champions League leave a like on the video for that alone even though we lost the FA Cup final if you're new to the channel subscribe and uh, yeah I'll join you guys very soon hold your gun capybara thank you so much for watching bye bye